everyone you are welcome to the 12th episode of the quick civil series for beginners in this episode i will be showing you another method of creating your stair in quick civil series all right in the last video i showed you how you can create it manually where you go to sketchpad and you sketch it and then you know you automatic and you manually create it and then you get your um, result immediately i mean the design result immediately However, there is another way of doing it automatically that you will not even need to sketch. You will just insert the values and then it will automatically sketch itself, design itself. And then you can now print the calculation sheet. Okay. So in order to do that, just come to design. Then when you are uh, in design, you see this um, automatic staircase design. So you click on that. When you click on this, then you will see um, this information. It asks you for the number of steps. So if you wish to have a number of steps to be 10, you have this. Let's say this is um, 21, for example. What did you see here? The deflection check says it is not okay. Okay. So it is also self-designing. So um, you click this. So whether you use the manual method or you use the automatic method, they are both self-designing. You can see the check is okay, which is a deflection check. So the height of riser, um, the width of tread, the waist of tread, uh, you know, the width of this, everything that needs to be changed here, make sure you change it. And then the loading, then the uh, the design load and, you know, every other thing like that. So let me change the the waist. Let me change the waist to um, 200, for example. Did you see this changed? Probably you didn't notice it. Let me change it back to 150. You can see this is 13.32. If I change this to 150, you can see it is no more 13.32. It's now 11.64. This cannot be changed, okay? So it will automatically calculate this. Everything you are seeing here, they are the result, okay? So um, you can also decide to, you know, try to have the kind of reinforcement you want to have. Let's say, for example, my distribution. I want to have 10 mm for my distribution. And then the spacing I want to have is, um, yeah, I think 250 should be enough, okay? I don't want to have something like 300. So the moment you have this, just click on insert staircase. And then it will ask you, are you sure you want to do this? Click on yes. The moment you do that, just click on close. All right. Then click on yes. So um, in order to view your staircase, it has sketched your staircase for you automatically. But in order to view it, just come to, you know, your view tab. And then you can click on the, you know, the sketch part view. So that it can take you to the sketch part view then you can see that it has sketched your staircase for you automatically so depending on the geometry the number of stair the, everything you've inserted it will use that to sketch your stair and it has done just that i believe um this is um good enough so in order to check your results you cannot click on this this is not something you can click on because you can't edit it it is not created manually it was created automatically so you cannot edit it so how can you now see your result you know your design result what is your as minimum how is it okay so in order to do that you can just come to prepare slash print and then you can come to your calculation sheets then you check your reinforcement okay so if you want to change anything here go ahead and change it but i'll just click on prepare calculation sheet so it will prepare all this for me then you can see all that needs to be seen here you can see your stake is analysis design the loading you can see um, you know everything that is here the loading yeah the stake is analysis and design the moment at the moment is calculated then the design itself okay the reinforcement design you can see the yes minimum is this 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 so this is exactly what you need to do as usual it will not detail it for you it will only design it for you so you'll be the one to detail it so in order to detail it you will need softwares like CAD RC okay so um that will you know you can properly edit your and um, you can properly detail your staircase um, using that kind of um software so um i believe this should be um the end concerning the reinforced concrete then in the next episode i will be showing you how you can work with the steel parts and the steel structure parts that has to do with you know um the the truss okay so we work on the truss we load it with point load and then we can you know design it and then you know see the detail so till then um have a good day